Hi, today we're going to go ahead and uh, replace the rear ventilation window, the back of this uh, 2006 Dodge Caravan. The window was broken and it shattered into a lot of pieces, obviously. So, picked up all the glass. Um, here are the mounting points where the holes for the uh, hinges are. And the, this side here mounts from the inside up over there. But I removed a lot of this already. I'll take it through this real quick. First thing I did was I pulled the weather stripping, just pull it straight out from around the back of your hatch here. Pull that out. Then I went ahead and pulled down this uh, trim panel up here. It just holds in with spring clips. Just give it a good yank or a pry with a uh, trim removal tool and that'll come right out. After doing that, there is a piece over here that uh, has all the uh, vents for the rear uh, heating and ventilation. That just pulls out with a bunch of snap clips as well. So um, the one trick with that though is you do have to remove the seat belt from up there and I'll get some video of putting that back in. But that was a uh, 14 millimeter bolt. You do also have to uh, remove the seat belt mounts from down here as well as on the other side for the second row uh, seat belt. So those were removed with a 13 16 socket as well as the upper one there will have to be removed as well. This uh, entire panel inside here comes out as one piece. The grill around the speaker snaps off and then there's about six to nine screws in there. It varies per model but there's quite a few uh, Phillips screws in there that have to be taken out. Once that comes out you'll have uh, on this metal strap here one up top and one down here. Another couple of Phillips screws, you pull that out, this thing comes out as one giant unit. You'll have uh, slits in the plastic to uh, route your seat belts around so that uh, you can get that out of there. And uh, then you take out that panel up there, it has one screw down here, very bottom, where that meets the uh, gray plastic. So that's uh, below the rear plastic actually, but that comes out with one screw and it snaps in otherwise. Then behind there, you're going to find, you're going to need a deep socket. But that's a 10 millimeter nut. There's two of them on each of the hinges. Hinges look like this. I found that my bottom one had two spacers and the top one only had one of these plastic spacer washer things. That's how the window holds up there and that fits through this pretty deep hole right here. Or not there, right here. So right there and then the other one is up here. But yeah you look in the holes and you'll see them. They go right through and uh, the new window is studded to accept the 10 millimeter uh, nuts on this side. Here's where uh, the other hinge mounts up. So that's uh, three 10 millimeter bolts in there. You could remove this uh, ventilation tube here. There's just one screw over here. I chose not to. It's easy enough to get a short uh, 10 millimeter socket in there to get that removed. And uh, that's the removal for all the plastic. I'm gonna go ahead and put the new window in. We'll need a helper to help Hold the window on the outside of the vehicle well. These, uh, this side screwed in first, and then you'll get the uh, latching part bolted up on that side afterwards. So I'll go ahead and uh, come back after we get that done, and I'll show you a bit of the reassembly. All right, so I got this back in. Just need to go ahead and get this screwed back down down here. The Third row uh, seat belt. There, this is all in. I'll show you the screws. So, there's four on this side. One up top, two in the back. Right there. Those were just normal Phillips head screws. 
that was that uh, holds this to the side of the vehicle and everything else just kind of snaps back in nice and easily here's the problem up here with this this plastic thing you gotta kind of pull it down with a screwdriver and there it is there is this the screw right up there. It's a normal 14 millimeter bolt. And it's pretty long and it has a pretty weird little contraption that holds it in there, a little anchor that holds the entire thing in. But I'm gonna go ahead and snap back the rest of the interior together. Quick notes, just make sure you pull this gasket open. When you're snapping this in, it makes it a whole lot easier because this gasket also actually helps hold this in to the vehicle. Same goes for around your windows and up here as well too. So I'll go ahead and put the rest back together and I'll show you my finished product once I'm all done. You have to excuse the mess in the van, it is a work vehicle. But uh, you'll get the basic idea. All right, I'm back and the glass is in. So there you go, quick uh, pointer, installing this glass, get this edge in first. We got this side in, got the two uh, 10 millimeter bolts holding this nice and tight. They do have a bit of wiggle room, and you did have, do have to line it up on the outside of the vehicle to make sure it seals right. Um, other than that, my only other advice is when you are doing this, make sure this window is open. Um, you know, have it open like that so that it actually makes it easier to screw those in because otherwise your ratchet hits this opening handle. Um, but yeah, tighten those up with this closed kind of and uh, use a wobble socket or a wrench if you have one. Tighten it up with it closed and then after that go ahead and open it all the way up and tighten it up all the way because these are slotted holes for the bolts to help uh, line up the window properly. So that's all done there and window's nice and sturdy and it's in there. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on reassembly. First part of reassembly would be this right here, starting right here. Just make sure when you get that uh, piece of plastic trim in there you pull back all the gaskets so that everything fits in there nicely. 